My name is Felipe Peralta. I'm here from Maine, Portland, Maine. Um, in my America, I see a lot of youth going to waste, thinking that they got to make that fast money, thinking that they don't got no options but dealing drugs and doing the fast life on the streets. Um, I see a lot of youth that doesn't have anything else to go to but the drug dealing and the gang banging. I see a lot of youth that thinks that they don't have a chance out there. They can't make it unless they make it the fast way. I see also a lot of people that cannot make it or go through unless they have some big drug dealer trying to give them money, trying to give them drugs. I would like to see in my America a lot of youth coming up and doing something, getting your GED, getting your diploma, um, moving up on life, because we're the generation that's going to keep this country going. I would love to see a lot of people like me trying to take leadership, trying to take ownership for where they're going to go in life. And I also would like to see a lot of other youth people being encouraged by other young people because we're more likely to listen to our young youth than to an adult saying that you ain't going nowhere. So I'd like to see a lot of youth supporting themselves, trying to make more programs, trying to make, get people out of the streets, playing sports, doing things for the community that will actually forward themselves, not bring them back to a poverty and bringing them back to the drug dealing. Before I got into youth build, I was a gangbanger. I used to deal drugs. I used to do a lot of bad things, but then my probation officer <clears throat> signed me up for youth build, and I thought it was a joke. I thought it was something just I could do to get off probation, but once I was in youth build, I figured out that <clears throat> there's more to life than just banging. There's more to life than just drug dealing. There's more to life than just fast cars fast money. I learned that I can make something on myself and help my community at the same time. I also learned that I have a place in life. I have a place to be. I have a place where I could go. I have a lot of people that support me and will be behind me 100% whenever I need it. Um, I also have a connection with a lot of people which I call family, which I could go to, and pretty much they'll help me do anything I need. Well, at first, all my game banger friends were just like, you can't leave us, you can't leave us, you, you have to stay with us all the time. I just left because I needed so much to go in my life. I needed a direction, I needed guidance, and that's what Youth Bill gave me. And I needed someone to tell me that I would actually be something in life instead of everybody telling me, all my teachers in school telling me that I wasn't going to amount to anything. When I first stepped into Youth Bell, they were like, we got one thing for you, we got a direction, we got a place, we got purpose for you. You, you are not one of the ones that will end up in the streets. You'll end up being a businessman, you'll end up being something good for your community and for the rest of us. For the next presidential election, I would like the president to focus on the youth that gets left behind, the youth that drops out. They don't have many programs that they can go to and will show them that they mean something, that they got so much to be. Um, I like them to support um, a program like YBA or any other program that helps people out um, out of the streets, out of their gang banging, out of their out of their hood rat life, out of their mold that the rap industry makes, that you need to make fast money to be anywhere. So you need to make fast money to be a millionaire. You don't really have to do that. You just keep your goal, keep your goal in your mind, and you just keep on moving forward, and you can make it. This is probably not dreaming that big, but I like to be a probation officer because most of the probation officers in Maine I don't want to say that they don't care about their kids, but they care more about their job than their kids. They don't encourage them. They just, when I used to go to the probation meetings, all I would hear is negative stuff. 
not positive, not you're doing good, not you're doing this. I would hear, Yo, you can't do this, you can't do that. I would never hear, you're doing good, keep going, step up. 